Carter, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake-up call for Wednesday, December 15th, 2010. Today is the last day to get your cards and packages in the mail in order to ensure arrival on Christmas without paying extra. From the big house to a big British manor, the WikiLeaks founder has been bailed out of a London jail. Sweden, not happy. An appeal has been filed. Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi gets to keep his job thanks to his political peers voting in favor of him staying by a very slim margin despite his bad boy behavior. Police in New York think they might be dealing with a serial killer, a Jack the Ripper type, after discovering four bodies on a beach in Long Island. Yahoo is cutting 600 jobs at its Sunnyvale shop. Meanwhile, across the street at Google, all employees are getting a 10% raise. Some joker wearing a motorcycle helmet walked into the Bellagio Casino in Vegas and held up a craps table around 4 in the morning. His takeaway? $1.5 million in chips. Good luck cashing out the $25,000 colors. Uh, too bad he didn't have the luck of a substitute teacher in Arizona who just claimed the $95 million Powerball ticket. After playing her favorite number, she took the lump sum payout of about $49 million. An RV trip around the country is in her future. Hollywood breakup alert. Scarlett Johansson and Ryan Reynolds are divorcing after their quickie 2008 marriage. Michael C. Hall and his Dexter co-star slash wife Jennifer Carpenter have filed for the big D. And Vanessa Hudgens and Zac Efron are ending their Disney-fied romance after one too many high school musicals. And this year's most annoying word is a holdover from last year. Whatever. Following whatever is the most cringe-inducing, like the phrase, you know what I mean? To tell you the truth, and actually, your Los Angeles weather forecast, stormy and cold highs in the 60s. That is your LA Wake Up Call. I'm Andrea Jackson, and I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.